Hey guys, what's up? So today we're gonna be cleaning and redoing one of these hexagon fish things. These are pretty rare. You don't see them as often as you used to. And this is like, this has been sitting like this for four years, maybe even five. So as you can tell, it's like nasty. It needs a big cleanup. We're gonna be spray painting this, the two like marks right here and this cabin right here black. And then we're gonna be cleaning this hose. And then in the future, we'll be putting fish. I'm planning on putting like some angel fish and some um, like tetras and some serpe tetras and stuff like that and putting like sand bottom, having like driftwood, some cool natural plants in there and rocks. Finally, after quite a while of spray painting, we are done. We um, didn't spray paint the inside because you know, the tank is gonna go right around there so you won't see it. But we spray painted it black, the door is black. We're gonna be adding a knob, like I said, probably either the middle or up here. We added water inside of this tank to make sure there's no leaks or holes since it hasn't been used in a couple of years. And it was perfectly fine. So we're gonna be um, getting some just some black regular paint and just um, paint this. And that so it matches the cabinet or the furniture thing it's on. And then it's like really slick and smooth and just epic. So let's just get into painting. Okay, we have our little bucket right here of sand. Um, it's like all the way there, so that's a lot, quite a lot of sand for what we have right now. So let's go home, or to my girlfriend's house actually, and put the sand in the aquarium. Guys, the tank is set, it looks amazing. We have it right next to this couch right here, and there's like a hallway, so when you come out of the hallway, you like see it, so it's really cool, and the door is like behind me. So see, we have this like regular 30 gallon filter right here, and we have all the sand that we're gonna be putting in right now. We'll roll a quick little time lapse of that. But you see, we painted this black, and that and uh, the stand obviously it looks really cool and we're gonna be adding a little knob right here and then when you open it you see it looks cool and you won't really see that because that will always be closed but it looks like amazing and like you guys like it let me know what you think about it Okay, so right here we have this 20 gallon tank that we're gonna be getting all the like, bacteria and stuff from the, this fish tank and the water and putting it into here, which we're then gonna pour this into the other tank so it's already cycled, as I said earlier. So we're just gathering up all this fish poop and bacteria and just beneficial stuff. Okay guys, so right here we have our first thing right here. We're gonna get like five or more of these, so I'm not gonna show you every single one, but we're just gonna pour this in slowly so it doesn't cut like a crater in the sand. Okay guys, so right now we added about maybe like one third of a way or one fourth of a way with water from the fish tank and like beneficial bacteria. And now we're just gonna get regular hose water and fill it all the way to the top. And then we're gonna squeeze some of the filter from the other tank in here so there's more beneficial bacteria. Now comes the worst part. We're gonna have to put this filter in here and shake it out. And it kind of sucks because this water is actually pretty clear already, as you can tell. So we're just gonna shake it out like that, get all that out and make sure the filter sucks it up. And this is what's gonna cause the water to be safe for the fish. Okay, so right now we have this cool little knob right here. It's like a shiny knob. So we're gonna put it here just to give it that cool, like aesthetic look. And just so when we open it, we don't have to dig our nails in, so we just pull it. This is the thing I was talking about. So we pass this through here, and then we just screw it in with a screwdriver or our fingers, and then it'll be done. So just pass it through there, and you line it up with this, and then keep going with a screwdriver, and then we'll be set. Okay, now we're done. You see, we screwed it on right here, and then we have it right here, if you see. It looks real nice and it looks professional. Little things that count. Oh yes, the lights came in, baby. Three days after Amazon Prime, gotta love it. Let's go back inside and install them. Oh, there we go, guys. Okay, here's a little um plug thing with the wire that just stretches out like a bunch. And then here are the actual lights. So we just rip these off and then we'll be good. Lights are in. Let's see how powerful these babies are. That is extremely bright. Once we have fish in there, plants, wood, rocks, anything, and we're gonna be scooping all that stuff up because that already sit down, so now the water is good. It's been like this for like three nights already. So we're gonna be taking that out, crystal clear water, crystal clear sand. It also has a cool blue mode, just like almost every single lights do. So when it's all dark in the house, this is gonna look really cool. So we came to the pet store, we got a bunch of like tetras, those two rainbow sharks. We got one angel fish because it's all it had and some of these red eye tetras, I think they're called. And then we got a nice piece of driftwood and two Amazon swords, like two different sizes. So we're gonna go home right now, put this on the tank and show you when we get home. Take a quick look at this, look how cool it looks. We have the fish right here in the bags so acclimating still. We're gonna release them right now, but I just wanna show you, we added that cool piece of driftwood to that awesome plant, that rock right there and those two plants. And we added an air stone too, just to give it a more of a fish tank fancy look. 
it looks really cool and it's not even crystal clear because we just stirred up the sand a little bit so when it's crystal clear and the fish are in there swimming it's like extremely beautiful these fish have been here for two days already and they're like literally super cool this angel fish right here which is like one of the only angel fish we got because it's the only one that had it this size um it's like extremely beautiful as you can tell and really really small like look at my finger compared to him as you can tell he's super small we have two of these black skirt tetras i'm pretty sure they're called we have four of those red eye tetras we're going to be getting a couple more of those because it's like a cool school and then we have two baby red rainbow sharks right there one right there and the other one i have no idea where he is oh yeah right there he just went back there but yeah they look beautiful the plants both look really good here we added that rock we had that cool driftwood the bubbles it looks extremely beautiful and like you walk in here and it literally just looks amazing look how bright it is it stands out so much all right guys that's gonna call it an end for the day i hope you guys did enjoy this video of me setting up this pretty cool hexagon aquarium i've had this aquarium for a really long time i think 35 years or something to be exact and we set it up again and it's perfectly working perfectly fine so again hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see every single one of you guys in the next one Peace.